What's up guys? We're back at our foundation basement job, house addition job we'll call it. You can see here we already have our hole excavated, we got some string lines set up, and what we're going to be doing now is prepping for the superior basement walls that are going to be installed in a few days. And if you're not familiar with what that is, that's basically precast concrete walls. They just sit in place and then the whole basement's going to be built uh, basically in one day. But first we got a couple things to do. You see the guys are getting some pipe unloaded. We're gonna be putting in some piping for the radon. We have to put in a drainage line that's gonna to go to a sub pump. And uh, we also have to get our layout going. So we got our drainage pipe in and our radon pipe in and our sub pump set. The top of this sub pump is the height that our concrete floor is going to be. And we have two, two lines coming off this, two drain lines, one you know going right over there towards the house, this one going along the outside, turns up there and goes up towards the house there. And then this is our radon, the radon is going to come out right there, they'll end up hooking up one of those fans that will create suction in the stone underneath the slab to catch any of the radon gases. I'll show you some of our heights over here. So we drew our line on the wall right here. So this is the bottom, bottom of wall. That's the bottom of the superior wall, that prefab wall that I was talking about earlier. So it's gonna to go to this height. Now it's actually gonna be out here on this white line. And that's why the drain pipe is there. So this is our outside this is our outside of our superior wall. The wall is 10 and a quarter of an inch thick. So you got 10 inches over and then you need to have your pipe at least a foot away because they don't want this pipe underneath the footing of the wall. You can imagine the panels are very heavy. So we're more like 18 inches away, probably two feet at some spots, which is fine. So we're gonna start getting some stone in this hole. Right here in the center, all across the middle, is all going to be three-quarter. And then where the panels are going to sit is going to be that three-eighths, half-inch uh, chipstone. I'll show you that up top.
show you here. This is that 3 8 chip that we're putting down. Give you a quick view from up top. You can see, so right there's the line. That's 3 quarter and this is 3 8 All right, so we are all set, ready for the walls tomorrow. We got our corner staked out. That's the outside of this wall. Comes down here. This is the outside corner. The walls are 10 and a quarter of an inch thick. So that's the outside line, and then the wall's gonna run this way. It's like the footing of the wall. Comes up here, there's a little jut in. That line is not crooked, it, it just dips down because we're gonna be putting those big pads in here, those concrete footings. There's gonna sit one right here on this junction. And then the other one is gonna go at the center of this wall. And I think they want it at the center of this wall because of the span. This wall is like 26 feet. And then also there's gonna be a lot of load on this. There's a big main beam support, you know, to hold up the first and second floor. And then over there, I think it's just because it's a small piece and two junctions coming together. But all in all, we're good to go for tomorrow. We have some extra stone here, so once they've sit these pads in place, we're gonna shovel this in and then give them a spot to rest the walls on.
perfect.
check it out guys here's the finished product once they got rolling it took them about four hours i would say to get all the walls set they use this sika sealant on all the joints if you saw in the video they put it on the face and then they put a ton of it on the outside then they bolt the wall together it's bolted to the house and then of course we can't do any backfilling until we pour the slab inside and they get the first floor framing and all the trusses and the plywood once all that's locked in then we can backfill this because until then we can't put any pressure on the wall let me show you guys on the inside what it looks like so here's the bill code doors this is cool it's all one unit they put a pad down there and they you know have this bracing pole and then it bolts to to that wall up there we're gonna have to pour steps obviously to get into the old basement this is going to have a slab in here so it's going to be up a little bit higher four inches up um, and then we'll probably have to do two steps we'll have to figure it out because it is going to be a little tight this door opens up so we'll have to make sure the swing of the door is not going to hit the steps worst case scenario we could end up cutting this and making this the first step down actually i think that's what we're probably going to do let me show you the inside here this is a real cool system it's already insulated and has your studs so it's ready to be finished you know you put sheetrock right on it obviously we're going to pour the concrete floor in here we're going to be putting insulation in here rebar a vapor barrier um, and getting that all squared away we need a little bit more stone to cover up our radon pipe and then there's going to be an egress window over there the walls, if you notice, are two different heights. They did that because of the grade change. So on this side, there's a ledge where the trusses are gonna sit. And then when it gets over that side, the grade's a little bit lower. The trusses are gonna sit on top of that wall. They actually run two different directions. There's a main beam that runs from this jut out. The trusses are gonna go this way. And then on this side, the trusses go this way. But as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, to give the video a thumbs up and drop me a comment below and stay tuned the next video will be when we do this uh this slab down here and probably the back filling we also got to rip out the wall up top there and uh they're going to be ripping off the roof and to start framing the the addition so there's going to be a lot of changes happening real quick i'll try to get as much as i can on camera so you guys can see the whole process